The orca is one of the most ferocious animals out there. Easily identified because of its black and white pattern, it is often used as playful marine imagery. However, orcas are not as innocent as these images make them appear, they are apex predators, meaning they are at the top of the food chain. So here are lesser known facts about orcas. Orcas aren't whales. Orcas are often called killer whales, they certainly have the size to be listed among those massive creatures. However, orcas are not actually whales, they are dolphins. Taxonomically, they fall into the delphinidae family, which are oceanic dolphins. It is theorized that the misnomer was originated by sailors who saw orcas ferocious hunting of large marine animals and dubbed them whale killers. Then, the term somehow got flipped around over time. They have evolved based on culture. Research conducted by Andrew Foote, a killer whale genetics expert, found that orcas and humans share an ability for culture-based evolution. In a 2016 study, Foote and a team of researchers analyzed the genes of different orcapods and discovered that distinctions in genes coincided with distinctions in culture, such as group social behaviors. One of the most apparent examples of this was in the orcas hunting behavior, different groups will hunt different types of prey using different techniques. Recently discovered that they use a unique tactic when hunting in packs splitting up into two groups and then converging on the prey from opposite directions. This strategy has proven successful in taking down even the largest animals, such as whales. They go through menopause. Many members of the animal kingdom maintain the ability to reproduce until their deaths. But some species are exceptions to this, including the orca and of course, humans. Why would a species evolve to stop producing midlife? For the orca, it has to do with their social practice of staying in pods. Because both sons and daughters remain in the pod throughout adulthood, older females are increasingly related to everyone in the pod. Sharing genes with so many pod members is a good reason to stop breeding and instead focus on supporting the pod by guiding and teaching the children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. They are the second most widespread animal in the world. Orcas are the most widespread mammal in the animal kingdom. The species ranges from the Arctic to the Antarctic and can be found everywhere, from the freezing waters of the north and south to the warm waters along the equator, including the Hawaiian Islands, Galapagos Islands, and the Gulf of California. Not only have orcas been seen in all of the world's oceans, but they have also been spotted in freshwater rivers. One even swam more than 100 miles up the Columbia River in Oregon as it hunted fish. Orcas cannot smell. Orcas do not have an olfactory system, which means they likely do not have a sense of smell. While this may seem like a handicap, it actually makes a lot of sense. Unlike sharks, which use smell to track down prey, the orca uses its keen hearing to practice echolocation, producing sounds and listening for echoes to tell if there are objects or animals in their surroundings. The absence of this smelling system is present in all dolphins and most toothed whales, so orcas are not alone in this deficiency. They have big brains. Orcas have the second largest brains of any marine mammal, second only to sperm whales. They can weigh as much as 15 pounds. Some scientists use brain size, specifically the ratio between brain weight and body weight, to roughly measure intelligence. By that measure, the orca's brain size is 2.5 times larger than the average of other animals. Orcas scare white sharks. When orcas and white sharks confront one another, it is the white shark that flees. Research conducted at the Monterey Bay Aquarium in California followed a group of white sharks for several months. Point three. These sharks always fed in the same place, but when two pods of orcas arrived, the sharks fled and did not return for months. It is possible that orcas are targeting white sharks. Another theory is simply that orcas bully white sharks away from prey in the area. Either way, even if orcas are just passing through, white sharks will not return to a location for up to a year. The orca whale or killer whale is a magnificent for its. Even though the orca is dangerous, it's always playful too. And if you learned something on this video, don't forget to hit that like button and share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates.